Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be rehoming one of our many tarantulas. And we have a lot of animals, and a couple of tarantulas are most of them. <laughs> and so we are going to be rehoming him because he is in an awfully small cage for his size, and he's a rescue. Someone didn't want him anymore. So we took him, and now we're just going to put him in a bigger cage. Okay, so now we're just going to put holes in the top of the container, because down here there's going to be dirt. So I'm just going to do a couple to demonstrate, and then my dad's going to do the rest. Okay, yeah, so we have the air holes in our container to make ventilation. So we used a wood burner and drills work too, but we find the wood burner easier. And the next step is to put in some eco earth as the substrate. Okay guys, so eco earth kind of looks like a brick, but it's actually dirt and you put it in the container and then fill it water with a little bit of water in it and it breaks it up into dirt. So, we we're gonna use distilled water just to be safe. So the eco earth is starting to absorb the water and pretty soon we'll be able to break it up um, and turn it into substrate. And while we wait though, I would like to introduce you to our tarantula. This is our Chilean rose hair tarantula. His name is Chili and like I said, he's a rescue and we need to rehome him because his habitat is too small. We're getting close to the part where we actually have to move our Chilean rosehair chili into his new habitat. And in case things go, go wrong, we didn't want him to be out in the wild. So we're going to first move a couple of his things from his old cage to his new cage. Actually, we're going to clean this out first. Okay, so in his old habitat, there wasn't much um, substrate for him to burrow in. So this time we made it with deep substrate so he can actually kind of hide out in his little meadow. Okay, so now this is the tricky part, getting him out of here and into here. Now would be a good time to tell you guys that Chilean rose hairs don't have medically significant venom. If my dad were to get bit, he it would hurt a little bit, but he'd be fine. So as you can see, my dad is using a paintbrush to gently coax Chili into his new habitat. too much better but they don't need as much height they need more width so as you can tell we give them less height and more width. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye